What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be discussing some praise coming out of from, from a couple of trainers about Patrick Williams and the mindset that he is taking heading into next year. Now, at the end of the day, Patrick Williams is one of those players that has a load of potential on the Chicago Bulls. I think many people would absolutely love to see Patrick Williams really live up to that potential that a lot of people are giving him. And it looks like things are heading on the right track. So all we could do now is listen to what people are saying about Patrick Williams, looking at the hard work that he's putting into this offseason as well, and I guess trying to see what what the outcome could be next season with hopefully a little bit of a more improved mentality heading into next season. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to The Bull Show. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about whether or not you think Patrick Williams will come into next season with a whole different mindset and I guess approach towards the Chicago Bulls and towards his NBA career. Now, at the end of the day, I think it's not necessarily an attitude problem. I think there's a difference between having the right mindset and having an attitude problem. I don't think Patrick Williams has an attitude problem whatsoever. In fact, I think his attitude is very, very good. He's always a guy, he's relatively quiet, but he takes the game very seriously. He tries to focus on enhancing himself. He wants to be a team player and he's never been a guy to complain or to fuss or to really, I guess, do something that would be seen as disrespectful to the game or anything like that. I think his attitude's on point, but sometimes his mindset and how he approaches the game could definitely be improved upon. I think they're two different things. But let's look at the mindset, uh, I guess, retrospective now, ladies and gentlemen. So there is an NBA skills trainer named Drew Hanlon. Hopefully I said his name correctly. Basically, there's a quote that has come out saying that Patrick Williams' mindset and game has been taken to a whole new level this season. Basically, looking forward to next season. Season. He believes that Patrick Williams has a different mindset and a completely different game heading into next season. That is obviously a great thing to hear because what's the number one criticism that Patrick Williams gets in relation to his last two seasons for the Chicago Bulls? Besides the injury, of course, his number one criticism has always been he's a little bit too tentative, he's a bit too shy, doesn't really have the mindset to be aggressive, doesn't have that dog in him. Everything like that has always been a critique about Patrick Williams. And I guess sometimes could be seen as a limitation between being a really good player in this league to being a role player in this league. That, little, that mindset, that mentality that he has. So the fact that people are praising this is very, very important. I think this skills trainer also works with Zach Levine, works with uh, Joel Embiid, Bradley Beal, and Jason Tatum. Very, very good players there, ladies and gentlemen. So he has experience in, in, I guess, training some of the best of the best players in the NBA. And he's really praising Patrick Williams as well. I absolutely love this. And the criticisms as well shows that Patrick Williams is listening to criticism. If this was a non-issue for Patrick Williams, we wouldn't be hearing about it whatsoever. But so many people had that criticism of Patrick Williams, including even our coaching staff at times as well, talking about Patrick Williams needs to be a little bit more aggressive. There were some games where he had 20 points per game something like that. Then there were other games where he had zero and didn't take many shots. Those were the issues with Patrick Williams. It's more of the tentative. He's not always aggressive. He's not aggressive every single game. These are things that need to be rectified. These are the things that need to be improved upon. And I think Patrick Williams is listening to that. And that is really good to see. For a guy that's only 21 years old to really be listening to heavy criticism about him and to be able to find ways to improve upon that is brilliant to see. I don't think anyone here wishes Patrick Williams to be traded in my opinion. Not many people are. There will be some, but I think many people understand that he's still 21 years old. He's really, really young. And we've seen very good things out of Patrick Williams. It's all about putting the pieces together. And it's good to see that people are really praising Patrick Williams. So that's what it means to Patrick Williams. He's listening to criticism. He's able to take it on board. And he's able to try and find ways to really improve upon what people have been saying about him. And of course, we'll have to wait and see how that can picture onto the Chicago Bulls next season. And speaking of the Chicago Bulls, what does Patrick Williams' new game and mindset really really mean for the Chicago Bulls. Well, one thing I've seen about Patrick Williams is that his shot is very quick now, or at least a lot quicker than what it used to be. So there'll be certain situations where you could give the ball to Patrick Williams, and since his shot is going to be a little bit quicker, maybe those catch and shoots won't become such a big topic of discussion where sometimes he doesn't take them and stuff like that. Maybe the confidence will be much more for Patrick Williams next season. But 
a new attitude, or I guess not an attitude, a new mindset for Patrick Williams, a new game for Patrick Williams, means that this Chicago Bulls team can add another diverse way of being really dangerous. For example, if Patrick Williams is taking those mid-range shots at a more effective level, that's another element in which NBA teams have to guard, considering that we already have three All-Stars already on this team, and some of them are really, really good scorers. Vucevic is going to be a guy you could at least hope will average 17 to 20 points per game. Zach and Demar are going to be what Zach and Demar are. Hopefully a healthier team. You get Lonzo out there as well. But Patrick Williams coming into this team and adding another element, being able to be a little bit more aggressive, maybe be able to take a little bit of more shots, the shot selections as well. Everything like that, if that can come together, we're just another element of what a dangerous team can be. We're adding another component on how good this team can be. So that's what it means for the Chicago Bulls. I think it means a lot. The fact that we've stayed where we are, the fact that we've been a little bit more, I guess, prioritizing keeping these players instead of adding ridiculously different players on this team, the fact that we went into free agency and didn't go above the luxury tax, it speaks a lot. Some good, some bad. I think the Bulls should have went over the luxury tax because we're trying to show we can compete. And that's one step to show how you can do that. But the fact that we prioritize keeping Zach Levine and keeping this team relatively the same, the Bulls clearly believe in Patrick Williams, in my opinion. And they believe that if Patrick Williams takes the next step, it's going to be very important, almost like it's a brand new signing for the Chicago Bulls, almost like it's a completely new, different team, a new dynamic to the team as well. It means a lot to the Chicago Bulls. Of course, it means more to Patrick Williams, to be honest, because Patrick Williams has to think about his own game, and sometimes he is a, he's a great team player, and we love that about him, but sometimes him being aggressive is going to be better for the team. So it's better for Patrick Williams, but it's also going to be good for the Chicago Bulls as well. So... The mindset, the game, completely new level, completely different. Love to hear it. Hopefully we'll see it on the Chicago Bulls team. As I've always said, it's great to hear these things. We hear a lot of positivity around the Bulls, from Zach Levine to DeMar to Kobe to Ayo to Lonzo. All of it's positive, great news. We love to hear it. Actions speak louder than words. And the actions on the court will mean much more than what we're hearing and what we're, I guess, seeing from other players or coaches in this case about Patrick Williams. How is it going to reflect on the court? It may take some time. A lot of us are going to be very patient with Patrick Williams, as we should. But we will have to see it most likely for any of us to really believe what's going to be said. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Have a wonderful and safe day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.